We, uh, we would have gotten public comment before the presentation, but we should take public comment before the board's acceptance of the. Okay, I'm not going to go into Thank you, appreciate that. But public comment before the board's acceptance of the audit. Good. Any, any public comment? Everybody's looking at you, Wes. I've got a couple of questions, but I'm going to be nice. You know, be nice. Right now, even, even if you told me not to. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I, we usually come up with this. We have a comment to the thing. Oh, so no, okay, I'm not chasing you. No, that's okay. You're the one. That hey, you <laughs> I just, just forgot. I started up there. Uh, I've got a couple of um, technical questions first. Uh, what, what is the, the depreciation like on the uh, um, yeah, I'll, I'd have to refer to the depreciation schedule. I don't have, I don't remember offhand. Technical questions first. Uh, what, what is the, the depreciation life on the uh, capitalized wells? Um, yeah, I'll, I'd have to refer to the depreciation schedule. I don't have, I don't remember offhand. Okay. Uh, but okay. certainly... Yeah, on the capitalized, but you see... You said, where's the depreciation? No, no, how many years are you going to depreciate? Oh, okay. It hasn't started yet, I don't yeah. think. I no, know. not yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to start, I think you said, in July of this year. Right. So, right. Next. Yeah. so we will start. Um, but I just want to know how many years you're going to write it on. Yeah. Well, is it, I heard a number come out. Did you say we'll depreciate it over? Well, is it, I heard a number come out. Did you say we'll depreciate it over 50 years, or is that? No, that was what I was talking about the, the, the donations to the filter, and that was just a, oh, okay. a number. They lasted 50 years. <coughs> okay, but okay, I didn't know about it. It's, 20 years. Usually, it's not unusual for underground infrastructure to be that long. I would think, you know, a 20-year period on these wells is yeah. probably a pretty good number. You know, in reality, the... The, the pump and motor probably not going to make it that long. Yes. Um, if they're <coughs> operating quite a bit. Um, but the remainder, the majority of the asset itself is is 20 years or so. Okay. But that will be a question that will come up ever. We'll have a meeting about that and, and uh, determine what that. Now, I, I ask this because I didn't know. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, second question. Now, this, uh, this capitalized nature of the wells, I think you took the total well costs as we showed us in the well project, subtracted out the revenue, and that's what you capitalized? No. Okay, can you explain why no, the, you did that? It, it, was, the, it was the cost, the right, total the cost, cost. Yeah, not subtracting out the revenue, no. Then that cost would have been something like a million four. Mm, no. It comes within three thousand dollars separating. What page are you on, Mr. West? And it would make sense to me that you would, you might have done that. Mm -hmm. What page are you getting that off of? Because you you show the revenue in the P and L, and you're showing the net and uh, capitalize it. Yeah, it was the cost that was in the expenditure accounts. You know. No, really? so there's only okay. four. <laughs> I'm looking at. Yeah, there could be some. Yeah, they're uh, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm, well, I'm looking at our, our statements as of the end of June. Okay. okay. So that was the, the cost of uh, Wells 3, three, four, and 6. Okay. That, that you, you stated at the beginning, those are not, we're not going to have those as capitalized costs right. associated with the well because those were investigatory costs uh, that, are, that are, even though they're funded by the grant money, they're not part of the asset. Right. Okay, so, so, the so, so the delta here is That's we so are capitalizing completed projects, exploratory work such as the wells up by the park that we that was cost two or three hundred thousand. I'm rounding numbers to sure. not be capitalized because there's nothing there to capitalize. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, you guys and say? six. Well, okay, six. So there's that's the delta. Well, okay. the the well three and four was one hundred twenty thousand. And well, six uh, only had eighty five hundred. That doesn't add up to eight hundred thousand. You you got caught, you got your revenue. You're, you're booking your revenue as in as, as pure revenue. You're not offsetting against the cost. Uh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could make a lot more money by getting grants and writing off everything, putting everything in capital expenditures and writing it off over. 50 years. You know, getting grants is a good thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I don't understand uh, that. Yeah. I may have a second question on that one of these days, yeah. but I won't, I won't bother you with it. 
Uh, I did want So we can make a lot more money by getting grants and writing off everything, putting everything in capital expenditures and writing it off over 50 years. You know, getting grants is a good thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid I don't understand uh, that. Yeah, I may have a second question on that one of these days, yeah. but I won't, I won't bother you with it. Uh, I did want to make, when in, uh, in our P&L, last year we did not capitalize any well costs. So consequently, in last year's operating cost are higher than our normal operating cost would be because of that well cost. And so those are not comparable numbers, and you're showing them as comparable numbers in the P&L. Maybe you can investigate that. And I just wanted, then the Wes, final thing was, Wes, I was going to make a couple of comments. Wes, would you restate that? I, I didn't, I'm not sure okay. I understood that. On, he's, he's looking at, uh, on the p and L. You're looking at the audit, the uh, one o'clock meeting information, Wes? No. Okay, what I'm looking at all this has got to do with the audit. Okay, on page eight, you've got a P&L that's comparable to 2016 to 2015. And I'm saying those are not comparable numbers because this year we capitalized, last year we didn't capitalize. And we're going to have the same thing coming up because you still got several hundred thousand dollars worth of capitalization and several hundred thousand dollars worth of revenue yet coming in. But then I have one comment. I will ask for answers. I, I'm sure you can get those and get back to the board so they don't understand what's going on. Um, I would argue that, materially speaking, some of these uh, some of these numbers aren't too bad. If you look at the balance sheet, okay, the balance sheet has 17 different kinds of items going down. Okay, so some of them are item with two or three line items. For example, the uh, uh, GS uh, 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 balance sheet. Okay. The balance sheet has 17 different kinds of items going down. Okay? Some of, some of them are an item with two or three line items. For example, the uh, uh, GS, uh, 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 GSB for, uh, uh, 68. It's got three different line items. So I'm counting that as one. Mm -hmm. So you got 17. As of June 30th, the balance sheet that this board was given Eight of that 17 are different numbers, and they're by $5,000 to $20,000 to 100000 Different than what you're showing as our ending numbers. Okay? That's taking the balance sheet the board was given on June 30th, comparing it to these numbers that are here. So I don't doubt that the numbers you're getting are nice and clean, and you're being able to put them in your reports well. The board is not getting those kind of numbers and our CPA is not coming back and explaining these changes to the board. One other comment. Uh, we, were, we were talking about how positive the district is doing and uh, I just happened to also put 2014 because I wanted to get a numbers on here so that I could compare it before the wells. In 2014, our unrestricted net assets were $948,000. In 2014, our unrestricted net assets were $948,000 favorable. Today, our unrestricted assets are $82,000 negative. And I think it would be good to explain that to the board on what is happening along with the idea of unrestricted and how that may cause them a problem. They won't listen to me. So you're looking, you're looking at the June 30th? No. no. I'm looking at your same reports, okay? okay? And all I did was to go back and take your June 30th balance sheet and write okay. it right along here. 17, or 8 out of 17 are different. I see, okay. Five good size numbers. Not wild, some of them are hundred thousand, but I mean not all of them are wild numbers. But they're all they're not they're not fifty cents, they're not five dollars, they're not ten dollars. They're in the thousands. Okay. 
The second thing I'm saying is, you see this unrestricted mm -hmm. net assets, mm -hmm. okay? It is gone in, at the end of June 2014, it was $948,000 favorable. These are your numbers. Today, they're 82,653 negative. This wasn't discussed as a negative thing. We talked about how great we're doing. I just thought we ought to also talk about a number like that and explain it to the board so they'll understand that this will have some, some effects. If we want to go borrow money, a few other things like that. And you'd be, they won't listen to me, so I want you to tell them why you don't want a negative, unrestricted money. Well, I briefly touched on that as we were going through the cash flow statement and whether it's a negative cash flow in operations. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, you actually you want uh, operation, the operating income. And if, if you turn to page eight, where it has operating income, and you have a negative, you have a negative 118,000. Yes, that's not good. Uh, it's obviously better to show a positive operating income, so that you're. So we had two years of not of negative operating income. That's correct. If, if, that's correct. If we, Lake Don Pedro, conserved 54 percent, which was the highest in the state of California, and by not selling that water, we obviously didn't have the income from that. That would directly create this, wouldn't it? It would impact it directly. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. That is correct. So by doing the best job in the state, we pay a price for it in our income. That's exactly right. The district pays the, the penalty as far as the income. Yeah, because the income's reduced. So it's all our customers' fault. <laughs> well, you can see, line back one. In 2005, right. you were selling 20% more than right. before the drop. Right, right in line one, you can see a comparison between 15 and uh, and 16 income. Yeah, the water sales in 15, 1 million 422, 16 dropped to 1 million 351. So uh, yes, uh, conserving and, and this district is not unique in that respect. I'm seeing the, the same same uh, condition in other water districts that we audit. And it's, it's obvious. You reduce your water that you're selling. If the usage reduces, it's going to reduce your income. Did you also see native income on, on those other water districts as well? A absolutely. It's common. Okay. Yeah, it's common. Right. You have a question behind you, John. Yeah. Hi, real quick, uh, I don't understand a lot of this, sis, but are there any uh, general accounting principles or what you call financial details where a district provides a special benefit water service that it has no legal duty or obligation to provide properties outside the water license under which it operates? We've been doing that since our formation as a district in 1980, and I don't see anywhere and any of this where it's documented how much that costs the legal customers that are subsidizing that special benefit. Yeah, I don't know any offhand. Yeah, I really don't. Well, where would as that go? As, and and as, as, as far as, how does that work? Yeah, as far as income is concerned and... Well, I'm thinking more of the costs that are put on the 99% of legal Merced River yeah. water users that have to subsidize the special water service for people outside the district that we don't have a legal obligation to serve. I think that's kind of out of here. Yeah, that's, that's out of my head. That's kind of focus on Sparks. I understand your question. That's, right. That's, that's the issue. That's a legal but, issue. That's not the uh, auditor's yeah, issue. Well, I was just wondering where something like that would yeah. go if right, there was right. a place for it. Right. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? From a motion to accept the audit. Okay. I'll move to accept the audit. You second it, Emery? Okay. Uh, Dan made the motion to accept the audit. Emery second. All in favor? Aye. Got a unanimous vote. Thank you. Okay.